Every few years, a special fighter emerges. Their talent and character become synonymous with the era they fought in. There's, there's, there's a great joke. It's over. In the octagon, warriors like Hoist Gracie, Matt Hughes, Chuck Liddell, Anderson Silva, and today, Conor McGregor have helped shape what it means to be a mixed martial artist. But in the iconic Pride Fighting Championships, one man alone personified the Japanese organization's unique mix of sport and spectacle. Every fight, this guy has a trick. A natural welterweight, the Japanese icon never backed down from facing the towering titans of the sport. He was the man who forged his own legend by bursting the bubble on the mythology surrounding the first family of combat sport. He was the definition of Bushido, the way of the warrior. The Gracie Hunter, the IQ wrestler. He's the Babe Ruth of Japanese MMA, he's a legend. Kazushi Sakuraba is a real all-time great mixed martial arts fighter. He had some of the most exciting fights ever in Pride and in the UFC, was the first fighter to ever submit a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Sucker, I was just magic. He walks into that arena, it's like Elvis. He proved to the world, could the Gracie be beat? He was the man that did it. Sakuraba has gone through just about every Brazilian that he's faced. And it was just a matter of time before he faced one of the famed Gracie family members. When you look back at Sakuraba, he was the Gracie hunter, although that was really not a fair nickname. They were hunting him. Hoyler lost the fight for sure. Sakuraba's most memorable fight was with Bryce Gracie. Nobody had ever fought 90 minutes. How do you do a 90 minute fight? That's just ridiculous. It's not an embellished story, it actually happened. To be able to last 90 minutes and win the fight, that just is one of the most remarkable achievements in MMA history. He's taking all these rules and using them to his advantage. The love of a father, in the end, that's what finished the fight, when he finally said, yes, you can throw in the towel. The Gracies could not stand the fact that he was beating them. Now, we're gonna send Henzo in there to take you out. This is the fight of the century. Sakuraba, during his heyday, was my favorite fighter, and still one of my favorite fighters of all time. He could do things that nobody else would even dream of attempting. Excuses when they lose. He was better than me tonight. He's the Japanese version of the Gracie family. Sakura will be the who's who of UFC champions. Outside of the shenanigans, this guy was a legitimate fighter for a long time. For a guy his size to take on anybody and everybody. Sakuraba ranks among the top fighters of all time because of the caliber of the people he defeated, the style he beat them in, and for how long he was able to last. Part showman, part modern day samurai, the former pro wrestler came to epitomize the fighting pride of an entire nation and a list of accomplishments longer than his 2000 Pride Grand Prix fight. Kazushi Sakuraba now adds one more title to his enduring legacy, UFC Hall of Famer.